Rock 100.5K ATT. I am Cameron Buckholz here with Hugo of Tantric. What's going on, man? Oh, just in the back of an Uber, heading to meet up with the guys and on our way to Texas. Nice, nice. Where are you playing tonight? It's not tonight. We've got like 14 and five, uh, and I think it's like Friday. Gotcha. Yes, that's that's why we're talking. It's Saturday night in Chickasha at Legends Event Park, kind of a, a co-headline show with the Nixons, uh, and it, and it should be it should be a great time, man. Yeah, I always like to play. Yeah. Now, how many shows have you guys really played in 2021? Like, is this kind of the first batch of shows, or have you been kind of doing it sporadically? Uh, I mean, we tour a lot. as we were able to we played more but uh, we were just uh playing more, like normally we do like four or five shows a week but we were just like doing uh weekends but no we've been we've been touring pretty consistently you know since kind of the covid went down to you know like a couple of levels of craziness down but as a as a, people allow us to to perform we do you know we're down Nice. And you guys are out kind of in support of, of the new record, Some of All Things, uh, which yes. released uh, like a month ago, something like that. And uh, did you guys kind of record that in quarantine or how did that that go down? Yeah, we recorded it at, at, uh, at Pearl Sound Studios where we did the, the previous record. But I mean, you know, we're, we're always in quarantine. I mean, we're always just with each other mm -hmm. pretty much. Anyways, so uh, Chuck, you know, he had availability and we were all like not doing anything so we decided to do that you know for a while but i'm, I'm glad that it's finally getting over because i i can't deal with non-touring life yeah because you've essentially just been on the road for you know 20 years at this point relatively non-stop right <laughs> pretty much yeah uh yeah that's accurate because <laughs> yeah i mean some of all things is the the eighth tantric record and you guys have pretty much put one out pretty consistently. I mean, I guess there was a break like 2009 to 2013 or something is the longest you guys have gone without releasing new music and being active. Yeah, and that was it. I mean, and we were always writing new music, but even then it was just like, we were kind of in between labels. And, you know, I did a couple of EPs in between those as well. You know, like Tantric EPs, we did like Tantric Broken Down, which is like this five song unplugged ep and then we released this like totally crazy blue room archive thing of just mm -hmm. a bunch of songs that i just had and you know they were just you know kind of crazy in betweens but yeah this is our full length and uh you know studio album but we're really happy with it it's a good record yeah yeah absolutely and uh you re you re-recorded a couple old songs on it uh was that just sort of one. a just one i thought there was two. Oh uh, no well actually there was okay so let me correct you okay. so basically we re-recorded two hits sure uh that were there and then we also recorded added on a song from like this record that never got released like uh, uh from the old school days okay uh, like the original country three but yeah we did uh we re-recorded the breakdown song and, and the down and out, you know, it was in our contract that we could do that. Obviously, we'd like to see some of those credits and monetary gains to come our way. Right. That's what I was going to ask. I assumed it was like a kind of a streaming right sort of thing, which is, it's, I mean, it's, it, it's weird the way the industry works now that bands have to do that. Well, for people out there listening, basically, you know, you, the, when you record a record, the original master belongs to the label for whatever mm -hmm. is specified in in your contract. But in our contracts, after a certain amount of years, we could actually re-record those songs, and then we would own that master. And that's basically that's what we did. You know, yeah. You know, we didn't really do it like a really anything much different. We just kind of just did a more updated, updated drum sounds and a little bit, you know, more tech in there. Um, and uh, and just try to make it a little fatter, and uh, but yeah, same song, and it was it was crazy because it was it was still doing great, you know. 
And we, when you going in to record it, were you like, okay, I've got to try to sing it the same as I did back then? Or did you, you just kind of just do it how you oh do God, it? I mean, I, I, I listen to myself sing it every night. Yeah. But I, I don't often listen to the radio version of it, you know? So I try to keep it nice and steady. But, uh, you know, uh, I, I, I consider myself even better than I was back then just because of experience and the fact that you know, I, don't, I don't party or do anything bad for you. Mm. That would you know, burn out your voice and stuff. So, um, yeah, it, I, you know, I'm happy with it. I mean, we knocked it out real quick, but we do know that song. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd imagine you played that every show since 2001, most likely. Definitely, definitely. Now, as far so as we're- five going in times to see, two on <laughs> someone can check setlist.fm and see exactly how many times you've played it i think but uh, um now as far as the, the the actual record some of all things kind of tell me about that you said you recorded the same place you've done the last couple of records but as far as the songs go what was kind of the the mindset going in was it affected well, by the weirdness of 2020 you know that whole saying wherever you are there you are <laughs> but it was kind of like that whole thing and it was you know I blinked an eye and I've, I've been doing this for a couple of decades. And, um, it's just really kind of like a testament of, of, of basically all of the things that have gone down and not only the historical life of this band, but my own life, you know, all of these things, they kind of added up and, uh, and the sum of them all is where y'all are right now i mean it's a truth the title of the record is truth for everybody i mean it's it's, it's applicable to anyone but uh, you know the subject matter was also current you know it's it's just what's going on what are we talking about and where we are as people where i am as a person and uh you know just kind of like a retrospective kind of look at what's going on what's been going down changes you know but uh i i didn't over really think i didn't overthink it really i just kind of just try to make it as sincere as possible and fun to listen to and also you know that it has some technical ability as well because i like i like it to i like our music to to be approachable and, and easy to listen to and all that but i also like it to have uh layers for those people who like to delve deeper into meanings and and uh and obviously just the music theory of it you know gotcha gotcha and now with you kind of being with you kind of being the, the only constant member of tantric in the last 20 years but the band's been you know you've had the couple core guys there for the last four or five so kind of tell me about the state of the band right now probably the strongest it's ever been inclusive to the first generation uh, only just because you can get the best players in the world and, 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 and I have some of the best players for sure but the thing that you can't really get um, is the four of the best players who also love each other uh, and are very dear friends to each other and also are in that mindset where it's uh, there's nothing really second to it, you know. Uh, it's hard to keep that type of love and passion and, and intensity in music and your career, and uh, and with and, and I think that basically we, we have the heart of a new band, you know. But uh, we just have the experience of a, of a more seasoned band, and uh, you know, we're, we're always having fun. And I think that's why, when, you know, the last four or five years, Tantric has been so successful for us. It's just no meaning to not, you know, uh, we just try to, you know, just stay focused on what we do, make sure that we're having fun, respecting each other, respecting our fans, and being appreciative of them, and just generally not being pieces of shit humans, you know. <laughs> It's, it's, that's a good, uh, just, just bottom line, I guess. Just a um, bare minimum. <laughs> yeah. Be happy in your life. Uh, you just can't overcomplicate it. Uh, your own self. And, you know, 
my life it is kind of hard for some people to understand but uh it's very much the life we chose and, and, we, and it's very addicting you know all of us have fun we, we love doing it we just take the drives <laughs> oh sure yeah what's well, you know you're, you're the job is the travel and the, the fun parts of the show right yeah pretty much for sure <clears throat> But as far as Saturday night, you guys are playing with the Nixons. And uh, it's kind of weird because I think the Nixons broke up in like 2000 and then Tantric kind of got started in 01. So you guys kind of missed each other. Is this the first time that you're playing with the Nixons probably? Believe it or not, I don't. I actually think I played with the Nixons back in 2000. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was, but, it was some uh, sort of... but it's, it's certainly been a moment and a half. But man, I'm glad to, I, I, you know, whether uh, you're a fan or of, of any band, it's always good to see uh, things get rekindled sometimes, uh, especially in band type of situations, because, you know, it's good. You know, sometimes life gets in the way and then you've got to, you know, uh, get your shit back together and do it out. So I'm, I'm happy for the Nixons. I'm happy they're coming up. Indeed, man. Well, I appreciate the time today and uh, stoked for the show Saturday night and congrats on the new record. And, Thank uh, you. Please, please pick it up. Me, man. Appreciate okay, it. Bye-bye. God bless.